Hey, what's going on everyone? Edwin Pagan here. And on this tutorial, we're gonna be talking about how easy it is to clone a website and put it online and be able to steal the passwords that people are inputting into this website. Now, as an IT administrator, uh, I'm constantly telling people and my users that please do not log into rogue access points. Don't log into access points that look unfamiliar be very very careful because there's a lot of websites or access points that are rogue or that are malicious and so I wanted to demonstrate in this tutorial using an application called Ghost Fisher and using a Kali Linux environment how easy it is to set this up now we're not going to give the full details of how it's done just because I want to avoid uh, malicious users from doing this but uh, I want to kind of showcase how easy it is to get done so without further ado guys let's go ahead and get right into it so I am in my virtual machine right now we're running Kali Linux and we're gonna go ahead and open up our uh, terminal I'm just gonna launch Ghost Fisher and let that thing open up and then we're just gonna skip this alright boom now in essence this application allows you to spoof multiple things from creating a fake access point uh, fake DNS server fake DHCP server what we're gonna be utilizing in this is a fake HTTP server all right now under web page settings I'm gonna say um, what website I want to clone so what it's doing here it's pulling the website from the internet and it's gonna clone it on our back end so let's go to something like uh, Gmail so this is a Gmail website right here so I'm gonna double click on that I'm gonna copy it boom and then paste it and then it's asking me for the real website IP address or URL and so what is the IP for Google these days? Uh, let's uh, find out real quick. I'm just gonna go ping google.com. All right, so that's our Google IP right there, Control C. Uh, I don't like to type very often, people, so I'm constantly copying and pasting. <laughs> and so, real website IP address or URL, hit paste, boom. And then run web page on the following port, port 80, boom. And all we're going to do is hit start and we in essence have a fake HTTP website running now let's see this bad boy in action so it's basically broadcasting this web page on the following local address that I have set up which is 192.168.0.13 that's a local IP address I have so if we go to my local address so let's go over to my web browser and we have it running here we're just gonna hit enter and now you see you see the IP that it says 192.168, but then you see the website, it looks exactly like a Google login. Now, I could have this set up where when a user logs into the access point, this is the first thing it says. I can have this set up where it says you must log into your Google account in order to access the internet here. So once the user it's themselves types in the password, so let's say I'm gonna type in my username actually. So let's say my username is cool kid Edwin, right? And my password is, you know, please all right so I put my password in hit enter and nothing happens right but if we go back to our back end where the server was running so boom and you click right here to harvested credentials you see where my username popped up so it shows cool kid Edwin is a username and the password is please let me get in here now these are different uh, attempts I had done previously when uh, testing out the tutorial but as you can see it was that easy to get this up and running now the reason why again I emphasize is because it is so easy to do this the the barrier of entry is very amateur it doesn't take a genius to set this up so you might have someone who's a criminal going into an going to an airport opening up his laptop and launching one of these rogue or fake access points and having people log in and he's collecting credentials all day and it's extremely easy to do so this can be implemented in many different ways to the point where you can actually create a fake website that's accessible from the outside internet where people from the other uh, side of the internet can actually access this, this very easily so hope you guys enjoy the tutorials if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them below of course follow me on Twitter at Nightingale and if you like the videos subscribe to the channel guys take care Peace.